In this overview demonstration, we're going to take a look at how advisors are using Laserfiche forms with CRM, DocuSign, and the tool set from CDI to be able to automate their client onboarding process. Let's take a look at the Laserfiche form. What you'll notice immediately is that it's in a convenient wizard-like form for clients to be able to submit their information in bite-sized chunks. Every color, logo, photo, all of that is highly customizable so that you can communicate with your clients the way you're comfortable and provide your branding and your messaging around this form. So let's begin by collecting information. We'll begin by the contact information, move down into the occupation information, and move on to the next screen. We've got additional information like existing stocks, bonds, retirements, funds, and so on. And it's going to tally for us as well at the bottom. We can insert custom math or equations that we want to execute as well. For example, on our liability screen, we have a number of details we're going to collect regarding what type of outstanding liabilities do we have. We can also tailor things like graphs and charts to be able to provide a little better understanding of the financial plan that we're about to create for the client. We can also collect notes in our planning priorities section so we can have additional information entered into our CRM, pushed directly into Salesforce, Dynamics, Tamarack, Salentica, Juncture, etc. We can also control our risk tolerance using sliders or other custom objects. Finally, we can go through a series of questions, all of these tailored to our experience and questions that will help us service that client, including what type of outside services do our clients already use, like their outside attorney, perhaps their bankers, their accountant, what type of insurance policies do they currently have, or what are they interested in. Then they can also choose to upload a copy of their identification, any other documents that we might need to receive from them, and all of those can be sent directly to our Laserfish client file. So we'll go ahead and click Submit. All right, so that's been submitted. Our next step will be to receive this particular submission in the back office, and compliance can review that submission. So let's go over to our inbox. We'll notice immediately that in our inbox, we've received this request. We could also have an email sent as opposed to watching this inbox. If I click on this, it's going to open up the form submission that was received. This is particularly handy if we're on site with a client, filling out paperwork, wanting to be able to initiate the client onboarding process, we can have a second set of eyes view this client questionnaire. And we'll be able to see which user along the way has viewed and reviewed or approved or denied this particular request. So we're able to click through and view all the information that was submitted. We might want to fix a typo or correct some information before we push all of this into our CRM. So as we go through and review all of this, we'll see, all right, this looks good. We could put some comments on here that only we will see because we might want to route this to yet another individual within the firm. But if I consider everything here good, I'll just go ahead and click Approve. This will also launch a new business process in my back office to create a record in my CRM and create a record in my Laserfish repository. Let's take a look at Salesforce. And let's take a look at that new record created within our Salesforce environment. So here's Peter's record, automatically created using our Laserfish workflow activity for Salesforce. If I click on that, you'll notice it displays in Lightning, and it's going to do a lookup directly to my new client folder created within my Laserfish repository. You'll see that all of my standard subfolders have been created, so I don't have to go and manually create this record and link it up. Laserfish creates it. If this client or household already existed, it would just simply file these records underneath the existing client record. Here's my account opening, and here's my client engagement letter. So this particular account opening, you'll notice all the metadata was already filled in for me. And we can also view a preview right from this screen, as well as open up the full size. Here's my Schwab new account opening, pre-filled with all of Peter's information. And I have my client engagement letter also pre-filled with all of Peter's information. My next step will be to review the DocuSign email that I just received. Sent out to Peter with that same information, I'll just go ahead and click Review Document. As I click through this, you'll notice Peter's information has been populated into the contract. Click Sign. Use Saved. That's it. My contract's been signed. 
I could also send out my client engagement letter that exact same way as well. You might be asking yourself, how does this all work? And what components do I need to make this work for my firm? Well, you need Laserfiche first. You need Laserfiche forms. If you're going to be making this accessible to the outside world and have clients fill this in directly, you'll need Laserfiche forms portal. And there's a few components depending on your environment that you might need. For example, you might want to have a Salesforce integration. And that's what we use when we saw the pieces come together in Salesforce Lightning. But you also need the DocuSign integration components. And these all come from CDI. So whether it's Salesforce, Dynamics, Juncture, or the DocuSign integration points, those are simply workflow activities. And you can just click and drag onto the canvas to create your specific workflow. This is all highly customizable, as I said at the beginning. And you can do that through using Laserfish Forms and Workflow and the CDI components. Thanks for watching today. If you have more questions, give us a call or send us an email at sales at cdi.support.